Welcome to Databytes. If your system sends logs containing IPv4 addresses, New Relic can locate them geographically and enrich log events with specified attributes. You can use our new GeoGrok type, which adds GeoIP enrichment data at ingest based on a parsed IP address from your logs. This format can be configured to return one or more fields related to the IP address, such as the city, country, region, or latitude longitude. So for example, you can enrich your HTTP access logs with GeoIP fields based on the client IP address from the events. In this episode, I'll show you how to create a parsing rule in our parsing UI using this new Grok type. In the description, there are links to our docs that include more details, including the full list of GeoIP attributes available to add. Let's see how it works. In my environment, you can see I'm currently ingesting some Apache web access logs and I've configured them with the attribute log type equals Apache to make use of New Relic's built-in parsing rule for Apache logs. To add GeoIP enrichment, I'll need to update the log type and create a new parsing rule in the parsing UI to include the new GeoGrok type. The reason for this is that once the built-in parsing rule for Apache is applied, I can't currently add a second parsing action to the logs in the UI. But this is an easy fix. By updating the log type name, copying the built-in parsing rule from our docs, and then creating a new parsing rule and replacing the current client IP extraction with our new GeoGrok type extraction. So to begin, I'll update the log type in my Apache logging.yaml file so that it will no longer use the built-in Apache parsing rule. I'll change the log type to Apache underscore geo instead. After I make the change, I can see that the built-in parsing rule is no longer taking effect. My Apache geo logs no longer have all the attributes they previously had when using the built-in parsing rule. Next, I'll add a new parsing rule in the parsing UI for my Apache geo logs. To do this, I'll first copy the syntax of the Apache built-in parsing rule from New Relic Docs. In the built-in parsing rules section, I found the Apache rule and will copy that to my clipboard. Now, back in the logs UI, I'll create a new parsing rule. I'll call it Apache Web plus GeoIP, and for the filter, I'll use log type equals Apache Geo. Now I'll paste in the grok I copied from our docs for the Apache built-in parsing rule. I can see in the output section that it's working, so I'll hit create rule. After a minute or two, I can now see that my Apache geo logs are being parsed again. Now let's add the GeoIP enrichment. To do this, I'll edit the parsing rule I just created to change the client IP grok expression to a new one using our geo grok type. In our docs, you can see the syntax for the new grok expression. I'll use a similar expression, but we'll use client IP for the field name, and I'll add all eight available GeoIP attributes. I'll replace the old client IP expression with this new one. Now, in the output section, I can see that all the GeoIP enrichment fields I expect to see are there. I'll save the rule and go back to look at some more logs to validate. Back in the logs UI, in the log details view for a recent event, I can see that all eight of the GeoIP enrichment fields I expect to see are now added to my logs. For my second example, I'll add GeoIP enrichment data to my Cloudflare CDN access logs. In this case, since the logs are sent in JSON format, they are automatically parsed by New Relic, and the client IP address is parsed to a field called client IP. To add GeoIP enrichment, I'll simply create a new parsing rule applied to the client IP field. I'll name the rule Cloudflare plus GeoIP and enter client IP for the field to parse. For the filter, I'll enter client IP is not null. Next, I'll paste in my grok expression with the geo grok type. I'm using the same field name for the IP address, client IP, and again I'm enriching my logs with all eight GeoIP attributes. I can see in the output section that the GeoIP enrichment is working, so I'll select Create Rule to save it. Now I'll look at some new events to validate the attributes are present in the Log Details view.
And there you go. How easy was that to add GUIP enrichment to my Cloudflare logs? In this data byte, we learned how to add GUIP enrichment data to your Apache HTTP and Cloudflare CDN access logs at ingest. I hope you found these two examples useful so that you can now go add GUIP enrichment to your own logs. Thanks for watching.